history was made this past Saturday night on the Superbox Live High Stakes Pay Per View card when 2016 Olympic bronze medalist and local hero Nico Hernandez knocked out Hungarian challenger Sylvester the Silent Assassin Canal is in the opening round to capture the vacant International Boxing Association IBA Flyweight World Championship in only his fifth professional fight at Kansas Star Arena in Mulvane, Kansas. In the first world title fight ever held in Kansas, Hernandez, 5-0, 4 KOs, overwhelmed Canales, 14-7, 9 KOs, the former World Boxing Federation, WBF, super flyweight world champion, to become the youngest 22, EBA world champion ever, as well as setting the record for the fewest pro fights needed to become EBA world tit list. Superbox Live, High Stakes was launched as Super Channel's new live boxing series, Superbox Live, in association with Co Night Boxing LLC, and it aired live exclusively in Canada on Super Channel. Integrated Sports Media distributed Superbox Live, High Stakes, in the United States on cable, satellite and digital pay-per-view as it was live-streamed worldwide on Fight TV app and website, excluding Canada. Hernandez was aggressive from the opening bell, pounding Canales' head and body. A Hernandez left hook to the body really hurt Canales, who went down from a right that followed the vicious liver shot. Canales beat Hall of Fame Steve Smoger's count, and it was only a matter of time before Hernandez would end the fight. It came soon, right after another body and head combination put the overmatched Hungarian on the mat for the second and final time. A lot of people underestimate my power. Hernandez said after the fight. I believe that once he felt my power, I don't think he wanted it anymore. I felt like I took his heart away. I was patient, I wanted it to go a few rounds to see what he had, but I took his heart away. I can't really be disappointed because I am a world champion now. Nico was explosive Saturday night and he showed killer instinct, promoter John Anderson commented. He was going to box but I think he smelled fear, and Nico got into Canela's head. He sensed it and jumped on him. Before he left the ring, Hernandez took the microphone in the center of the ring and called out three-time Olympian and two-time Olympic bronze medalist Irish Patty Barnes, 5-0, one co, who was the favorite to win a gold medal in the flyweight division at the 2016 Olympics. He was eliminated in the round of 16 and Hernandez took home the bronze medal. There's a bronze medalist from Northern Ireland, Patty Barnes, and that's who I'd really love to fight. I think that's a fight we should start a conversation about. Anderson remarked. It's not line Barnes is 21, he's 31, and I don't know of a lot of 30 or older flyweights. It makes a lot of sense and can be a big fight. They're both Olympic bronze medalists already fought in scheduled 10 and 12 round fights, and have belts. Barnes is the WBO Intercontinental Flyweight Champ. Nico needs to step up in terms of competition, too. I think they should get in the ring and then we can see what happens. If they don't want to make this fight right away, maybe we can build it up by putting them on the same card, and then fight next year. This fight makes a lot of sense for both fighters and Nico has already said he wants to fight Barnes. Hernandez joined reigning EBA world champions, light heavyweight Sergey Kovalev and junior middleweight Mark DeLuca, as well as past EBA world champions such. As Hall of Famers Oscar De La Hoya, George Foreman, Roberto Duran and Arturo Gatti, in addition to stars Roy Jones Jr., Bernard Hopkins, Shane Mosley, James Tony, Mikel Kessler, Eric Morales, Diego Corrales, Jose Luis Castillo, Glenn Johnson and Antonio Tarver. 
2011 Russia Junior Championships gold medalist Andrei Afanin, 6-0, 3 KOs, kept his undefeated record intact when Pedro El Regulet Rodriguez, 23-4, 19 KOs, the Cuban native and former World Boxing Association, WBA, Fedel Cruz Cruiserweight champion, was unable to answer the bell in the third round of the co-featured event. Unbeaten Ukrainian heavyweight Alexander Teslenko, 13-0, 11 KOs, promoted by Debella Entertainment and fighting out of Toronto, stopped Terence Big Jim, Marbra, 9-6, 7 KOs, in the second round. Undefeated Washington featherweight Victor Morales Jr. 9-0, 5 KOs was too much for David Verna, 15-4, 14 KOs, of Hungary, who complained of an elbow injury and lost by way of a second-round technical knockout in the televised opener. In the television swing bout which was held prior to the main event, popular Wichita Jr. welterweight Jeff Strum, 3-0, 2 KOs, kept the train rolling with the second-round knockout of Nigeria native Archie Wea, 2-11. In the most competitive fight of the night, as well as the lone match that went the complete distance, Street. Lewis cruiserweight Leroy Jones, 3 3, 2 KOs, won a four round unanimous decision over Kansas City, Kansas favorite Chris Harris, 2 3, 2, 2 KOs. Results below, official results main event, vacant Eba flyweight world championship Nico Hernandez, 5-0, 4 KOs, Wichita Kansas WTKO 1, 2-52, Sylvester Canales, 14-8, 9 KOs, Pex, Hungary, Hernandez won vacant Eba world flyweight title.